우리는 놈, 그 위에 나는 놈. Baby, baby, 나는 뭘 좀. All right, welcome to episode four from chapter 13 on RNA and protein synthesis. And in this episode, we're going to go over the genetic code. In other words, how do we read the DNA bases and translate that into a protein? So you're going to learn how to use the code wheel, and you're going to be able to read codons and tell which amino acids they code for. But before we begin that, go over a quick little review. Uh, remember the central dogma. Central dogma is this. You start with DNA. And then from DNA you get RNA. And from RNA you're going to get protein. So DNA to RNA, RNA to protein. And this is done by... Oops, try this. There we go. Wrong color. And this arrow here represents a process called transcription. And then this arrow represents a process called translation. Okay, so we've already gone through transcription, and transcription is a process where you make RNA. And when we talk about RNA, remember there's three kinds. And it's mRNA, rRNA, and tRNA. And when we're talking about mRNA, we have to remember that we have things called codons. Codons are three bases in a row. And each of these, the three bases together, are going to code for one amino acid. And if you remember, amino acid is the monomer of a protein. Okay? All right, so that sets us up for where we're at right now. So let's get down to business on this screencast. Okay, the genetic code is actually the sequence of DNA bases or uh, RNA. Well, actually, we're going to write that down in there. Let's use this color here. Uh, there we go. Whoops. There we go. Or RNA. And it's going to code for an, amino, an individual amino acid. The code is copied onto the mRNA strand. Remember that is a process called transcription. And transcription in eukaryotes occurs in the nucleus. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of what we got on that screen since we're on top of that. All right, now remember, on the mRNA code, we have three braces in a row. That's a codon. Remember, a codon equals one amino acid, which it actually says right there anyway. Now, there is a mistake on this um, in your notes. If you're in one of my classes, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll I'll explain it to you right here. Let me get rid of this, what's on the screen. Okay, now, we have four RNA bases. I'm going to use red. There we go. And your four bases are adenine, uracil, cytosine, and guanine. So essentially we have an alphabet that's only got four letters in it. Now we're only going to make three lettered words. So these three bases in a row, the codons, those are the words. Okay. So if we have a four letter alphabet and we're only allowed to make three letter words, how many total words can you have? Well, it's going to be 64. There's going to be 64 different codons. All right. Now, this math right here is totally wrong. I don't know what I was doing when I was making this. But it goes like this. We have four different letters. We can only have three-letter words. Four to the third equals 64. So we can only have 64 different words. In other words, there's only 64 different codons. Now, what do codons code for? Codons are going to code for amino acids. Let me spell this correctly. Amino acid. Okay. Now, if you can recall from chapter 2, when we were talking about basic chemistry, there's 20 different amino acids. So let me think about this. We have 64 codons, and they code for only 20 things. 
So what's going to happen is there's going to be more than one codon that codes for a particular amino acid. So we might have one amino acid. Let's say it's uh, adenine. And adenine maybe has one, two, three. Maybe it has four different codons that code for it. So that's how we, we take care of this redundancy. Okay. Now, out of these 64 codons, we only need to memorize four of them. And the first one is the start codon down here in green. And the letters are AUG. And a great way to remember this one is school starts in August. And it actually codes for the amino acid called methionine. So methionine is how you spell it, methionine. Now, methionine, way too many letters to write. So normally we just use the first three letters. So you're going to see this listed as M-E-T. Now, the other ones that we need to remember, these are the stop codons. And they don't code for any amino acids. So I'm going to come up here. So stop codon equals no amino acid. And we do our screencast about translation. We're going to learn why that makes everything stop. Okay. Now, the three stop codons are right down here in blue. And it's a great way to remember what these are. Just kind of sign out the letters. We have OOA, OOAG, and OOGA. Let's do that one more time. OOA, OOAG, OOGA. UAA, OOA, UGA, UGA, UGA. And then UAG, OOAG. That's the stop. Those are your three stop codons. So just remember, school starts in August. That's your start codon. Start codon codes for MET. And then your three stop codons. Remember, stop codon, no amino acid. OOA, OOAG, OOGA. All right, let's get rid of all this stuff. And let's learn how to use the genetic code. OK, what we have over here is we have what, what I like to call the codon wheel. But it's also just referred to as the genetic code. Your textbook probably calls this the genetic code. But I like to call this the codon wheel. And then this one over here, that's the square. I like to call this one the codon table. Okay. They both do the exact same thing. I'm going to teach you how to use both of them because you're not quite sure which one's going to show up on a worksheet, a quiz, a test, etc. Okay. Now remember, a codon has three letters. And for example, let's do the start codon, AUG. Now we already know that AUG is going to code for methionine. So let's show you how this works on the code one, codon wheel. Okay, you see this dark yellow right in here? That's the first letter. This next shade of, of yellow, the second level here is the second letter. And then the outer layer, the lightest yellow, that's the third letter. Okay, so let's go with AUG. A U G. Methionine. Let's try another one. Let's do A U. Uh, let's do A U C. A U C is right there. And this is, uh, I believe this is isoleucine, which is I L E. First three letters. Okay. All right, let's go over here to the codon table. We'll show you how you do this one. Let's do A, A, no, I don't, let's not do any more A's. Let's do G, A, C. Great American country. Okay, first letter is on this side, second letter on the top, third letter on the right. Okay, so we got G, A, C. It's right there. And it codes for asparagine, ASP for short. Let's do one more over there. Let's do G, G, U. Okay. Uh, let's not do that one. Let's try this one. C, G, U. Okay. So we got C, G, whoops, C, G, U. 
right there. And notice one, two, three, four. Remember, we have 64 codons for only 20 things. So we're going to have some things that are double. So if you start with a C and a G, it does not matter what the next letter is. You're going to code for arginine, A-R-G, for short. All right, so let's do a practice example. So this would be similar to what you would see on a test or a quiz or maybe a worksheet. All right. Okay, so what is the amino acid sequence from the following mRNA sequence? So let's go here. One, two, three, four, five, whoops, do this over here, six, and seven. And remember, UGA, UGA, that's a stop codon, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight codons, and we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven amino acids because the eighth one doesn't code for anything. So here we go. AUG equals MET. GUC. GUC. Valine. GAU. GAU. ASP. And as you can see, if you do the rest of these, you'd see that they all match up. Okay? I guarantee you on a test and or a quiz, you're going to get an mRNA sequence like we have here, and you're going to have to use one of these to figure out what the amino acid sequence is. I guarantee that's going to show up on one of your tests. Okay? All right. We're going to stop here on this episode. Until the next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.